Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ, Marvel Puzzle Quest, and check it out. It is the end of the Soul Stone season in the PvP uh, side of the game, and actually there's only about two and a half hours remaining. 5,000 players are wrapping up their season scores, and Rick's waiting until the last, basically the last minute to get done. So here's what we're going to do today. We have 1,600 points even, and we have to get to 2,000 points to rush up and go for the main reward at 75 wins or 2,000 points, the Sabertooth green cover for Victor Creed. That is our goal. We're going to try to get these 400 point rush going right now. Let's jump into the action. We're going to do all PvP today. We will do some tokens. And so I think we're going to do a handful of fights. We'll stop and do our tokens, and then we'll come back for the Mad Rush at the end and make it happen. Uh, so it's interesting. We've got an even 1,600 points and a really even a balance of ISO 8. Kind of cool. And I want to say a uh, very happy birthday uh, upcoming on July 1st to our uh, friend from YouTube, Tree2Leaf. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Um, so your request to see a character in action, we'll definitely get that in for you. Um, maybe not a quick character request as much as pulling standard tokens as you've been requesting for a long time. We're going to do that. We're going to pull standards until we get a three-star bonus. Hopefully we can do it in 35 draws or less. We'll keep going until we get that done. Thank you very much, and uh, I will play uh, one of the characters you request a lot, and that is Four Star Magic in the Shield Simulator. Let's see what teams we're up against here and who we can play. I saved a couple of these teams. I'll probably play a mix of interesting teams, and then, um, you know, just normally really fast meta teams to get through it. That's going to be a challenge. Let's start out with a normal fight that I think we can handle pretty well. Let's go here. So we've had a request to see Five Star Black Widow. Let's start there and then we'll move in to other characters in a little bit. I typically play Black Widow at 355. Um, so I'm going to change her power layout right now. Uh, I'll, I'll change it first and then talk about why in a second. Alright, so Acrobatic Takedown is her red ability. It's really pretty strong um, ability. It deals 16,163 damage uh, at a cost of 12. So it's kind of expensive in the first place, but if the enemy has at least 12 AP in any AP pool, deal an additional 11,500 damage. That's huge. Um, if it downs an enemy, destroy 7 AP in a random color. So if you think about it, the uh, total for me is about you know 21,000 or 27,600 or so is uh, the total damage I can get out of this. And if I time it right, I can take somebody out. Tell me everything is a purple ability. Now it starts out costing 12, but it uh, the cost is decreased as the enemy uh, has countdown tiles on the board. I guess I chose a team that doesn't have a lot of countdowns to go against, but that's okay. If we get her purple out there, it's just going to do 6650 damage and remove uh, special tiles, including countdowns. At level 5, it would deal 11,000 damage and remove more specials. So that's kind of a nice ability. I do like red in my ledger, though. It's a cost of 10 black, so it's um, not too expensive like the 12... Uh, AP costs. Uh, so it's 14,443 damage, but if any of our allies are below 20% health, steal four random AP and deal an additional 9,100 damage. That's kind of cool to go for, especially if you have an ally that's going to be that low in health. So um, the other side of her ability is kind of neat. Passive whenever one of Black Widow's allies is stunned, stun a random enemy for a one turn. So I thought Black Widow might play pretty well against this team we're facing with two stunners on it with uh, Four Star Gamora and then also De uh, Daredevil. So who do we want to bring along with Natasha here? I thought um, this might be a good chance to bring along 
Yeah, I think this is fine. I did equip. I did purchase the five star Loki costume in the last video, and I uh, didn't equip it. So I think what we'll do is bring Loki along. He's got a she uh, has a strong purple ability, so we'll use that instead of Black Widow's. And then Loki's got a green. I'll try to get Loki taken down under 20% health because then we'll get more out of Black Widow's black ability. So let's pick a four star that has colors that will complement these two. We're only missing yellow and blue. Let's go with, I think we'll go with Cyclops here. Not that he has a real story reason to play with these two, but uh, his yellow and blue will help out quite a bit in a couple of ways. We'll cover that. Let's just jump right into it. Since we're in a little bit of a hurry, I should probably talk less and concentrate on more action. Good luck with that actually happening. <laughs> All right, so Gamora's at 17,000 total health. I think we'll probably just try to take her straight out of this match with uh, match damage and focus on the others for our abilities. There's a match four in black. That's great. Uh, once again, I think I'm going to start elsewhere because there's a really cool move here. Red drops green, purple, and more. Oh, look at the leave I uh, dropped there, a major extra move with black. Couldn't quite see that far ahead to know how that was going to uh, benefit the enemy team. Green and blue. They have a pretty dangerous blue on their team with Gamora. And if she gets another blue match, she's going to play that right away. So let's take this blue match. So I picked Cyclops because his yellow and blue are going to be pretty helpful. His yellow should, should build up the team's strongest color, and that's going to be purple. And his blue destroys an area that destroys a single tile plus an area of... Uh, of a 5x5 five five area that has any red tiles in it and that will build up red AP for Black Widow. Oh, that would have been an extra move. Close. They have nine green. How did I let that happen? Once again, I have, I've uh, been pretty lousy lately at watching enemy AP. I'm only concerned with mine for some reason. There's a bunch of green for us. All right, so Gamora has her blue to stun, but she's not gonna be able to do it. We're gonna take her out right here would have been more efficient to try to go for green for Loki and have the team damage take her out, but we just had to get her handled before her stun would come into play. Now they have nine purple to stun us. All right, that's an issue. And Thor has his yellow repeater tile out. So what can we do to make sure we match that away? Let's hit Thor with a shot right here, or maybe here. That's gonna get us a lot of surrounding red and it should leave his yellow repeater tile in a matchable location. Pretty good. Now, which way should we do it? Maybe we're gonna do it uh, the match this way. Oh, that gives them green if they want it. Ten green. Pretty lucky they didn't take the green match I left for them. So they have 15 blue and are you remembering what we can do with um, acrobatic takedown? It's 
16,000, and if the enemy has 12 or more in any AP pool, deal an additional 11-6. And um, Thor is so close to this. And um, let's give one more match worth of damage to make sure that we take him out. I think that's going to be fine. And Daredevil's going to play his green instead of Thor's once we take him out. That's fine. All right, here we go. Are the animations on yet? I should have had it clicked on. So Thor's have tw has 26,000 health. That's perfect. Let's play Acrobatic Takedown. Pretty cool animation. It did take him down, and it stole a whole bunch of that blue. Uh, or it just it depleted it. It didn't steal it. That's fine. Takes it away from the enemy so they can't use a bunch of AP against us. Blue happens to be no big deal for Daredevil. And he needs 11 green for hand-to-hand. -hand. So we'll watch green try to keep that away from him. We have 10 purple for shadow play for Loki. Let's play that. Oh, they did change the, the shadow play animation. They should. I didn't know if they would. Go for another... Oh, we forgot to play Uncanny Strategist here. While this countdown is on the board, anytime we match white, we're actually going to get our strongest color, which is purple. So if we can get a team-up match lined up. I don't see it. Daredevil's going to play his green countdown tile so we should probably make a green match drops black hand to hand is basically like an attack tile and Loki's definitely low on health I wanted to try to get more black before this we'll make this match this will probably knock Loki out right here feign death Loki plays a trap tile on the board, so if we can get that tile matched, Loki will return with a bunch of true health, actually. So, to give that a shot, let's get a match here to line up some green. Cyclops is down. Oh, well. He helped a little bit. There we go. Saw the animation for Lady Loki. Great. Back with 25,000 health, and it's true health. It does carry on to the next battle. And we just need to get... Oh, man. It's, it, it was rough timing with the purple, though, because we could have nearly knocked Dare, Daredevil out. He's going to be healing. Now he can stun... So if he stuns, if he stuns Loki, Black Widow will stun him back immediately, automatically. That's pretty awesome. Acrobatic takedown. I don't know. It looks like Loki is at about that 20,000 health range. Maybe we'd better make sure oh let's go for it I think we're going to win here and that's a win good just perfect with the health that team worked out okay might might have been able to find a better partner for, instead of Cyclops but worked out for the win so we're up to 1620 points that wasn't worth very much so we're going to need to find some pretty high point targets Let's go to this fight, and then we'll do our tokens, and then when we come back, we will do a mad rush to get to the end here. Who did, what five-star have I not played that I wanted to get into action a little bit before we work on meta teams? I think I've played a lot of requested characters lately. I 
I haven't really played Thanos, to tell you the truth. I think you've seen him a lot, maybe in your own play, or in PvE I play him more. You know what? We're going to play him with... I've got a team idea. Let's play him along with Carol. So she will be the black and yellow. He's purple and green. So we need a red and blue. And for red and blue, I think Hawkeye's a good choice here because he can fortify our countdown tiles. But you know what? Let's go with Iron Man, and we're going to get some use out of him for a specific reason. I think we'll be able to protect our countdowns regardless. Let's do this. All right, so here's my idea. We're going to... Let's see how much damage we get at from Carol's Photonic Barrage. 20,600. And Thanos has a green ability that deals 22,000. All right, so that's about, what, 42 plus? Let's take Thor down to about 42,000 health, and then we'll start our major plan. Might be close to it right there. It is. Yep. That was a good drop on that extra move. So why this team? Well, the main thing is Carol and Thanos actually, ironically, play pretty well together for a specific reason. Thanos has a green ability that does huge team damage. Like we saw with the 20,000 plus. Oh, see, now that's going to be... That's where we're going to have to be careful. Both of our teams have a black uh, as their strongest, uh, strongest power, strongest match damage. And if they match black, Carol's going to be injuring the other team quite a bit. And the reason I brought Iron Man is because the winning team does 95-92 damage for 9 red but it also additional 8871 for every Team Iron Man member, and that's what Carol happens to be part of. So we're going to get a lot of boosted damage out of his red. How lucky we have Thanos, his green ability, ready to play. This is pretty nuts. So let's play Carol's black right there. We need a lot more yellow to make this plan work, though. There's a blue that drops yellow. And that's gonna start to cause us damage if they keep their cause us trouble if they keep doing this. Look at that though. We can play another black from Carol. This is going to be a pretty pretty fast and efficient team. If we play Girl Friday from Iron Man, it will change black to red and then destroy those tiles. I don't know that we want to do that quite yet. Might want to do that toward the end when we have Thor nearly taken out. I, I worry about Thor quite a bit. We have nine yellow. We're going to get two more on this match for with purple. And now we're really in the driver's seat here. We've got a couple of strike tiles created from Carol's countdowns. We can already start to end this match. So let's play Come and Get Me from Thanos. See where it ends up. It's randomly placed. That's a great location, actually. And because that's such a, a good and safe location, I'm going to let that thing try to count down on its own if we can. Let's get more yellow here. Let's see. No, I think we're going to do this this way. Let's use Carol's yellow one. Can we get one more yellow? We can. We can. Let's do this one. All right, that won't matter much. Yep, here we go. With having over 15 yellow, this is pretty crazy. What we're going to do is use Carol's executive decision to immediately reduce a countdown tile on the board. 
Let's use that on Thanos' green right now. For the team damage will be will happen automatically. 24,000. Awesome. Okay, so now Thor is within court death range. Daredevil is going to be really close. Let's um, hit Okoye with a shot of the winning team. Well, that might end it. Let's see what we get out of Girl Friday first. A giant knockout blow. I didn't know if it would do that much. We're going to win with Court Death right here before playing any of our other abilities. <laughs> that team is actually pretty good on offense. Uh, on defense, that team is not great. As long as uh, you can fight that team and avoid your strongest color, you can take them out pretty easily. But I wanted to show you the um, synergy between Carol and Iron Man and also her and Thanos if you get to play that team. All right, this is a good stopping point. Let's go into our tokens here before it flips over to my midnight. Thickest Thieves, we've got five tokens to draw. Really trying to get that Invisible Woman, Coulson, and Deadpool out of this vault. <laughs> First try. That's it. Happy birthday, Tree, and anyone else in the month of July. Nice, tr nice hit on the first try. That's the one we were going for. Let's see if we can multiply that luck. Spider-Man, three-star, looking good. What in the world? Another four-star. That's two four-stars out of three draws. We did get the Coulson. Amazing. Look at that. Let's go. Three-star Gambit, so we've got two threes and two fours out of four tries today. Kamala. We'll spend 100 hero points, just about guaranteed to be a two-star. And it's a beginner support token. That was a running, uh, that was a, a really hot run in that vault. Amazing. So we've got one day left to do these taco tokens, and it's uh, we've got 49 of them. I think I'm going to do it since the Civil War Spidey is in there. Let's come back and do that toward the end of our of our run here. Porcine of Interest, like Person of Interest. We've got the first three tokens here. This event ends tonight. I'm in a decent spot so far, hoping for a top five position. Three-star Iron Man. Finally get a two-star. Good. Hopefully... Uh, should get two more tokens for that event and special offer is open that's basically the store that runs during the in-between events for uh, pvp seasons and they're actually a pretty decent discounted rate on those multiple packs the 10 pack and the 40 pack are less expensive than what they normally are in the heroics uh, in the normal heroics store 18 support tokens now for the beginners and we have 54 latest legends but we said in the last video and i need to stick to it we need to be done drawing latest legends again and save those up to see who the new five star will be after storm has now recently entered but we're building up a lot of command points we might be able to use those in a special store soon elites we've got two here No gold there. We're going to do standards, I promise. Gold result from a heroic. Thank you, Hulk. Doctor Strange. And we get a four star. Running excellent on the viewer luck, guys. Three, two, one. Four star Iron Fist. He's a pretty high level for me. That should be a good reward like I always say 100 hero point draw this time is a two star ran on a good one on the last video if you didn't see that so we have 693 standard tokens let's 
figure this out. We're going to draw these until we get a three star with a bonus hero. If you get a three star from standards, you always get qualified for the three star bonus hero. Odds are one in 43. Should get a number of two stars along the way. There we go, Moonstone. I'm just going to burn these off as quickly as possible. I <clears throat> wait for the right time to do this. Sometimes I throw my phone into the back seat while we're driving and pay my son a quarter or something like that every time he gets a three star from these. Crazy, I know. Uh, but the thing is, I don't really need a big balance of ISO 8 anymore. That'll eventually happen once you get all of your 4 stars championed that you can and uh, have a lot of 5 stars champed. Then ISO 8 finally becomes a net positive for you. I I'm, I'm, uh, can't spend it fast enough compared to what we earn for covers. <clears throat> Ranking out the basics here, getting a few two stars. That's good. I do like those. The two star farm is very important. Leads into many other rewards, and then also for your three stars, leveling those up. to an even number and then what I think we'll do is come back and see how many it takes so we've done down to 43 draws that makes perfect sense that was the odds of getting a three star we didn't hit it there so we're gonna come back and do that again until we get one but let's move on here I was gonna go into the taco vault since there's only a day left and I probably won't be doing a video tomorrow doubleheader in baseball so we better run these out and we're going for that infinity war spidey if at all possible we only have 40 some tokens so call it 50 out of 300 the odds are about one in six that we'll land on that cover not not exact at all there that's just a very rough estimate as you as you um, gain results and remove them from the total um, items available, each draw is just slightly more likely, barely more likely than last time to get the one item you're going for. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you guys with the viewer luck is just unbelievable. It's actually absurd. You've got to be kidding me. That's the one item we're going for out of 300. Claim it. It took seven tries to get the one thing out of 300 that we were going for from this taco vault. Amazing. I don't know what to say. Um, we're going to stop there. That's so great. I'm kind of shocked. Wow, let's go back to these standards. We're going to burn these up until we get the three star now that we got that major goal done. And we have more time for other tokens since we don't have to sit through all those tacos. And kaboom. Got it. Sentry is the three star we drew with a natural draw. And the three star bonus hero is set to Gamora. Very nicely done. It only took a couple more tries to get that goal and we are done with our tokens very good thank you tree two leaf for that suggestion and uh, i think our timing worked out so good to get everything we were going for let's do these two stars really quickly looking for command points still trying to build up that balance as much as possible we got human torch maxed out Level 144. Let's see, maybe that'll go right there. 
Get some heroic tokens back for our next video. Seven tries out of that taco ball. You've got to be kidding me. There's the cap we almost got last time. I think that's it for twos. I better figure out taking soon. I took care of a couple covers and now we got to do a lot more. Three stars. Where are we sitting? 15 of them. Gamora hits a legendary token at about, is it 257 or 259? Coming up soon. Sentry hits it at 257. There is our answer. That's right, I stopped on him knowing that the next natural draw we got would get the legendary. Now we're hitting command points on the last time we ran through this together. It seemed like everybody was rewarding ISO and no CP. And 257 also for Quicksilver. Perfect. Let's go to a four stars. What do we have here? Five of them. There's the Iron Fist we got on the lucky hit. Level 340 for a legendary. Too good. Coulson. 338. 25,000 health now. Invisible Woman. And a spider ham for the 900 point level in the current event. We had two also previously for the placement rewards before that. And our spidey hit miracle grab. 18,900 health at level 316. We need four more covers to make it to a five star cover for back in black spider man. All right, great job, guys. That viewer luck was incredible. We've got just over two hours to get 312 points. Let's go. So I'm going to take on this team. I hope it's worth more than 30 points, but this looks like a good one. It's normally a tough team to fight against. I wanted to take them on with... I think what we'll do here is I want to play with Thor... For the board action. And instead of that Thanos, that's what we we're going to do. I was going to bring in our four star Thanos from Endgame and see how he's going to do at two things building up green and then removing enemy strike tiles. So he's got a black ability, a green one, but we'll probably use our Thor's green, red and yellow. So uh, blue and purple is what we need to cover. Seems like blue and purple is a common color set that I need to get better figured out. The um, Hawkeye on the five star realm has a passive purple. Doctor Strange has an active blue, but it's, his purple is um, pretty slow and expensive to activate. He's the only one that's got a blue and purple active ability on uh, both colors. And then you've got Back in Black Spider-Man that has a passive purple ability. So I guess we're going to do this. We're going to go with Doctor Strange. This might be a tough combo because I don't want to get Thor injured too much. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Well, Medusa is a problem. That's pretty much always the case with her. Where do we want to start? I was hoping for a Doctor Strange 
match to begin with, honestly. There's two ways to do a match four. I don't think I'd better do this yellow because they can get a big red match four. If we do the red one, it uh, takes away the ability to get a match four in yellow, so we'll do that. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Well, at least endgame Thanos is working to remove some of those specials. But my problem is I haven't gotten a good match for Doctor Strange to take away any of this damage. And we're going to have to do a blue match for him to keep Thor alive. And that's going to create attack tiles, which makes a lot more damage again on us. Um... But, maybe not. Let's, let's hit Medusa with this Guardian Tactics. We got lucky to get a whole bunch of red here. We've got a blue and yellow combo move. Is it going to be enough damage to take her out? Boy, it's going to be close. Probably not enough. And she's going to get the attack tiles, unfortunately. I think we're going to lose this one. Oh, it only leaves them an extra move, right, Rick? <laughs> All right, well, Doctor Strange is out. Not good. And interestingly enough, hmm, Endgame Thanos isn't strong enough to tank any of his own colors here. I think we'd better pull out of the match. That way we might... Yeah, let's retreat it. Otherwise we're going to lose Thor all the way down and he might be having a fraction of health here to continue. Yeah, I should have been a little more careful with that team-up combo that we put together. Don't have time for any more of those mistakes. That's a friend. Better not attack them. I think this is going to be the point where we start seeing a lot of tough teams, including Rocket and Groot and Kitty, and then also Bishop might start to appear a little bit more. Here's a fun team combo. Let's go with this. So uh, let's play our own Black Bolt and Hawkeye. So we've got red, blue, green, kind of a yellow. I don't know that we'll play it. We'll call it that. So we need a active purple and an active black from four stars. Well, how about let's go with changing my mind here. Purple and black. Interesting. and yellow. This is a major challenge. I think we're going to be able to do this. But let's see. What uh, we're, we're going to get is the benefit of the enemy Black Bolt creating charge tiles while our own Black Bolt does the same thing. And the hard part is trying to find a way to match away some of the charge tiles so, uh, the, so that there are less than four when our turn starts. So we're going to take some hits here and there, but I think we're going to find a way to get ahead of them. Fifty-five hundred damage a turn, cool, but a lot of black tiles I can't get to. Yep. All right, that's going to be tough with those blacks are kind of out of range.
Usually they're a little bit more accessible, so this is going to be pretty tough. Good drop there. Now they have a match four. All right. If we can get, I've got to, let's see, how are we going to do this? We've got to get that black charge tile matched away this way, blue and black on the drop. Their Doctor Strange is going to be taken out right here. Cool. That helps a lot because now we can finally start playing our abilities. We've got a stun arrow, damage arrow, and we'll play deep breath for damage. Just can't seem to find a way to avoid having so many charge tiles on the board. But if we can get enemy black bolt stunned, we'll have a three turns where we're the only ones dealing that damage. That'll happen on this very next turn. We can match that one. Now he'll create two instead of dealing the damage. Oh boy, look out. Need to watch their AP levels better. Once again, I've been holding off Hawkeye pretty well, but now he's going to get to be able to play his blue ability. So let's take a look here. Is there anything I can do? Hawkeye's probably going to match away my electric arrow. That's not the end of the world, so let's go for red here. And he sure does. Maybe get that. I should have probably taken that purple. Then I could have played. Well, he's done for one more turn. And then I could have played Emma Frost's purple ability had I matched that purple. Oh well. taking black bolt out with that damage instead but we might get him right I don't think we're gonna get him out it's gonna be close yep definitely should have tried to get him out on the previous turn got him This is great. So we've got the big end of Deep Breath coming. Instead of the normal damage, it's going to do the 21,600 damage because we have nine red AP at the time it goes off. We'll get our purple. Here we go. Nice, very nice. So now I'll play Acid Arrow. Not, it's not fortified when you play it. We'll also go for Psychic Meddling from Emma Frost. It's a two-turn purple repeater tile that destroys four enemy strike, protect, or attack tiles. Um, but if none exist, the repeater tile destroys two AP in the enemy's strongest color. Not too helpful against Hawkeye, but we needed to leave him for last. And now we'll play Girl, Girl's Best Friend, which fortifies up to three friendly special tiles. And then uh, this, this uh, power actually changes. Really nice to play that once you have repeaters on the board. All right. Now once she, you see that she's in diamond skin form, and now she has uh, buffed match damage by 200%. This is over anyway with that extra move, but I thought I'd walk through the details there a little. 
I think we could have played that a little bit better, but that was still a challenge team. 1,700 points. I think we're going to need to speed things up a, a bit here as we go forward. What can we do to beat this team? This is going to be a tough one with that bishop. We'll give it a try with some guys that can't be stunned very well. In fact, let's go with a three-team combo that can deal with stun effects pretty well. Let's go for it. I usually try to mix in a four-star here, but I think this is going to be fun. I typically boost those four colors and then bring along a potentially helpful team up. Well, let's go for that one. So the team we're up against is tough because they have three characters that can stun. That is bad. But... Might be able to figure this out. Wow, there's a bunch of things we can do to start. What do we want to do here? Probably, okay, we're going to target Bishop first, and let's start with a move from Panther with his red, which also, also gets us a match four in green. When we get a match four with Doc Ock on our team, he creates a tentacle tile. And that's going to be useful. Because Doc Ock cannot be stunned while there's a tentacle tile on the board. Bishop earned a lot of blue from the damage he took. However, it stunned Panther. Panther is stunned for four turns. That's going to feel like a long time. <clears throat> but when he awakens from that stun, he will do an automatic 13,000 damage. That's a good thing. Immune to the stun. Excellent. That means they wasted the blue completely there. So what do we want? I need to get Bishop taken out as quickly as possible. Our Panther, is he returning on this next move? I guess we'll find out right about here. I think we need one more turn first. Looks like one additional turn before Panther comes back, and that will take out enemy Bishop. So to do that, let's get green here. Maybe they'll take that black move. That would set, up us, set us up with an extra move. Nope. The other way worked out nicely. And the critical match is going to take Bishop out after one more shot. Kind of wish he wouldn't do that damage until uh, the turn was over because we took a lot of extra damage during that uh, during the cascade. Kind of unfair because if you have characters like Thor that takes damage from cascade action, and um, he wasn't the one that started the turn. Again, we can't be stunned, but the Crimson Bands is a pretty ugly ability for damage, etc. Let's do this. We need to play... I wanted to play Panther's Black, but we need to play Superior Science. It's only a one-turn stun, but that'll allow us to play Cunning Scheme because we need to earn health back as soon as possible. Let's see, that's hand-to-hand. -hand. Let's do, we need to take out Crimson Bands of Citarac. We'll do it that way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Their super lucky team-up of two-star Magneto destroyed their hand-to-hand -hand countdown from Daredevil for tons of damage. So ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Doc Ock is about out. And Panther is way down. This is so crazy. I'd love to do that green match, but I can't do it. 
and we don't have a single move from Surfer to keep him out front. He doesn't tank team up. It's Doc Ock. So if that's the case, then let's just get purple that drops blue. Stunned this time because we don't have any tentacle tiles on the board that time. Running pretty unlucky based on our strategy going in. We'll see how this ends up. Nice hit from Panther. Oh man. see here is it worth it to just take strange out with that red so we don't have to wait two turns probably not let's work him out here we have 14 white and what's important is I need to try to get a yellow match lined up for Panther before we lose him because it's a huge damage ability oh my goodness yep I absolutely should have knocked out Doctor Strange on the previous turn. Oh my god. So here's what we have to do. Overkill shot on Strange. That's what I should have done last time. Knocks him out. I wanted to have a yellow match lined up for Panther to spend our team up because we have the rare occasion to place to uh, earn his passive, the Spirit of Wakanda, for 23,000 damage. Now what we have to do is spend a team up from Light Show here to stun Daredevil. A little bit of damage and hopefully some Cascade action. Nothing. Yikes. We need to get blue to heal Surfer. How do I not have any blue? How do I get into this mess? This match shouldn't have been this bad. I know Bishop can be that kind of a pain, but... Blue extra move. Can you believe it? Okay. We can heal Surfer by choosing a color that will become charged tiles. I would normally choose blue here so we could heal again, but I think I'm going to need to choose red as our only main offense remaining. Surfer's got 16,000 health. That's not going to be a whole lot. <laughs> oh, Panther tanks white. Hmm. What a rough battle. I just am so surprised it went this badly. Don't see any way to keep Panther in here. So let's do white and purple. And he's down. There's a match four in red that would set up a match four in green over here. Definitely don't want that to happen. So let's do this red match this way. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it. We're not going to earn blue in time. Pretty ridiculous. Okay. If I would have kept them away from that hand-to-hand, -hand, it would have been so much easier to win this fight. Oh. Right at the end of the, of the season, I run into battles like this. <laughs> it wasn't even close. All three of those characters have good, and we only lost 25 points, but all three of those characters have good effects for stuns, and I blew it. 
I mentioned earlier about learning from mistakes and that's definitely one right there so uh, let's just move on the enemy team has a Medusa in it and that can be a major benefit for our team if we play Kitty let's play Kitty and Hella that's gonna be a red black green yellow so we need a purple blue four star Seems like I say that a lot. We just got a level on Colson. He's got a purple and blue. Let's go with him. So the benefit we have that Medusa's on the other team is that our kitty is going to create her repeater tile that does a bunch of damage every single turn that that countdown is on the board. I'm going to actually start hitting... Medusa first though because I want to have her ready to knock out whenever we're tired of dealing with her constant damage. So there's the circuit breaker. That'll do a bunch of damage on the next turn assuming they don't match away the countdown. Okay, here we go. Circuit breaker will do about 13,000 damage Cool. Now we'll leave her right there. Let's start hitting Thor for a little bit. Match four in white. Two different ways. Let's do it in this direction. And by the way, if you're fighting a Medusa team, it's good to do that with Kitty, but you also have to be very careful that the enemy team doesn't get a bunch of team up because their Okoye will add all of that damage passively from her uh, black passive ability and it can do thousand oh there it is watch this 6500 already just because of that countdown tile no good yeah i'm gonna play practiced offense i was gonna wait on that i usually want to play hella's red ability but this being on the board we're gonna get attack tiles every turn that one of our characters takes damage from from Medusa's countdown and playing an ability gets a countdown out from Coulson deal damage and earn AP randomly when that counts out so I think this might be the time well let's wait one more turn and move over here Play Hella's attack tiles. Get our yellow ready. There we go. Now we're gonna floor the floor flood the board with attack tiles. That's what I was trying to say. I think we're set pretty well. Let's start to take Medusa out. And I want to build up a little more. There we are. Every elimination increases our special tiles. Colson will earn us passive AP. And I was going to say I wanted to build up purple so we could have Colson's tile swap available. I think he's going to play pretty well with these two, honestly. There's a red match. And green and another green. Let's take this green. I want this purple match, but that will set them up with a match four in black that I'm not too excited about giving them. So, well, let's just take the purple here. Then we can do whatever we want with the tile swap from Colson on the next turn. Yeah, this is a, probably a good spot to do it. Let's do this. 
We have best laid plans from Colson. I love tile swapping abilities. We take two tiles, swap them around in each other's place. They become charged tiles and when you do it. This is just such a great location. We can swap a purple into that spot. Where is a purple that a, that a red will do good in its place? Maybe this one, because we can follow up with the red match. Let's do the swap. Let Thor take the hit. We get the extra move. Oh, and it was even better than I thought. The blue cascaded down so well. So now we have another great option for a tile swap. Let's do a green into that spot or no let's do a green into that spot there blue for green so where's a green that a blue would do well doesn't matter let's do that extra move tons of damage plus green ap now <laughs> look at that thor has 89 health remaining well, for fun, we'll play Super Secret Tank from... Now I'll tell you what. Let's play that. Put another countdown on the board. That creates another countdown, and that means Super Secret Tank will steal three random AP for each friendly countdown tile on the board, up to a maximum of five countdowns. Watch our AP jump, and there's decline. Awesome. And finish things off with Death's Best Friend. multiple hit ability and that's a win good that was pretty fun with colson good points 1754 we need about 250 points so now let's play some faster teams i think looking for things there we go 52 tough team because Hella will try to limit the green that our team can obtain. We can't get Thor into Well, we can get Thor into a match. Let's go ahead and heal him up. He can take some damage here. Let's play them with... Thor, Daredevil. They can protect each other. He needs to lose health. He needs to gain some. Purple, yellow, red, green, black and blue. Let's play with Mr. Fantastic for black and blue. I know I said we're going to play fast teams. I think we're going to be able to do that here. So to start things off, we actually need Daredevil to heal a little bit just to be on the safe side he does, so that he doesn't get knocked out. But I'm going to take a chance. This purple and red combo is too good. Usually when I take a chance, they find some crazy way to get a super big extra move. Normally I would leave lead out with Daredevil, but I'll put Mr. F in front for a second so Daredevil can earn a little bit of health. There's purple matches everywhere. They don't have a purple player on the other team so I probably could leave a little bit of purple they don't have blue either so those two colors should be easy to come by daredevil's gaining health nicely let's go for black they did match purple but it's just because there was nothing else on the board they would normally go for too bad because I wanted to get that next we'll take this one Extra move. What a lucky drop. Look at that. Awesome. Hell is down to 2400. I see a good combo of three white that drops four black. Let's do that. <laughs> four or more black, should I have said. Nice. Running really good in this match. So, let's play Imaginot from Mr. Fantastic. I think this ability is pretty cool. It's a two-turn fortified repeater tile <clears throat> that has a bunch of different random potential effects, including strike tiles, protect tiles, attacks, or other effects on the board, including charge tiles and more. 
So what do we do here? Probably want to make a run for green, but this critical tile has got to get matched. Let's go for the yellow. Yeah, we lose some strikes. Here we go. This is where I need to be careful with Daredevil. <clears throat> 8,000 health on Helma. Let's move over to Thor. Ouch. Alright, so that's what I was saying earlier. Every turn that we have 10 or more green... Hella will have an automatic attack against us and, re and remove two of our green. So that's why I wanted to have a, 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 a way to stun her. And we have our purple ready to play for Daredevil, but we also can get our blue available right here for Mr. Fantastic. And don't forget... We need to have Thor get a little bit injured so he can enter his god mode pretty soon. Ten green. Let's do this. We'll stun Hela so she leaves us alone about our green for a moment. <laughs> we don't have a, a green match, so we'll hit Thor. Charge tiles all over the board from the Imaginot. That's kind of cool. And we have a lot of special tiles on the board. You could add them up, but check this out. There's at least eight friendly special tiles, more than that. So now flexibility not only is a stun ability, but we can't do any tile swaps. But it deals 58-14 damage for every four friendly special tiles on the board. So we should get two hits of that. For 20,000 damage when you add in our strike tiles. Huge. Very good. Two characters are stunned. I was hoping to get a green match lined up. I don't see it. Let's just take out Helena. She's trouble. Blue and blue. Not going to get green. Thor's going to wake up, so let's take him out. And now we have one to worry about. Look at all the damage from those special tiles. She healed. Oh, no. This sets us up with the green mesh, does it? Yes, it does. There's our attack tiles. Thank you, Mr. F. Attack tiles are starting to help quite a bit. Thor is in his god mode, and now we can finally start to win this thing. Cool. All right. That was pretty fun. We met our goals. We healed Daredevil and got Thor to take enough damage to enter God Mode. We have 1,800 plus points, 200 or so more points, and we'll meet our goal. Let's speed things up. We're going to run into some tough teams now. Yep, starting to see a lot more gritty and others so who do we want to play here this might be our last kind of fun team combo we put together before we enter the main stretch I haven't played Doom in a while I, I have been playing him quite a bit I don't have Banner Champ. Let's make this our last challenge. We're going to try to get him transformed into the Hulk and win with Doom. We've got a yellow, black, green. He also has a black. We won't use it. And um, passive blue, passive blue. Red, yellow, purple is what we need from a four-star. 
Yellow, red, purple. Four star Star Lord. Could be an option. Maybe we better go bigger damage ability than that. We don't need a yellow, red, purple. We need a red, purple. Yeah, for a red, blue, and purple, I think we're going to be... Let's do this. Let's go with Winter Soldier. He's going to be tough to do. I think we can get the win. Once again, this will be our last challenge before we make a big break. But I've been wondering about the combination of Doom with Banner, because... Let's see, big match four in red. <clears throat> so once Banner transforms to Hulk, and then he stays to Hulk until he takes enough damage to return back down to Dr. Banner. But if we keep getting him heals from Dr. Doom's yellow ability, for example. We might be able to keep him in Hulk mode for quite a bit, and that could turn into a lot of extra match damage every turn. Two, day, two ways, <clears throat> pardon me, to do a red match again. Let's do it this way. Take out a web tile. Oh boy, all that red. What a cascade for them. More red. Can you believe it? They just got a really lucky run on that. I, th I think we're going to be fine. Let's make sure Doom is up front to take this damage. Unless they're waiting on red for Black Widow, they are. Okay. Lucky extra move for us this time. Okay. I'll take it, and Doom happens to tank green. That's a good thing right now. The other guy... Is the Transform to the Hulk countdown for two turns? Do I have a Doom match to keep him up front? I guess we're going to have to go with team up. Don't want to match that purple. Yeah, better do that. really want to get yellow here pretty soon and I can't believe they haven't played Thor's red they could have played it a couple times already I just know as soon as I get a match for Winter Soldier they're gonna switch over and play Thor's red there's another yellow for their match we've now got Banner who will do a, a move a match for us at the beginning of every turn so in that case, let's let him take a hit here. Shouldn't take him out. A lot of damage. Oh, he didn't get knocked out. That's so great. This is perfect. Very close. You don't get the AP for the matches that Hulk makes, which I think is very unfortunate. <clears throat> But that's what it is. 
Let's do our Brave New World before I forget. It does a complete board shuffle, but the great thing about it is it also gives our characters a boost of health, and now our, health, our Hulk is up to 11,300. Very nice. Play our Detonator from Bucky Barnes. Two turn countdown tile where we'll get a bunch of damage for each one of those traps. If the enemy happens to match a trap, we get huge attack tiles, and I mean gigantic. Let's go ahead and play Moving Target. There's a chance this countdown could be right away in a red match on the board. It is so good. All right. Well, how much is that going to do? That's going to do 18,476 uh, damage because we're able to take it out ourselves. Otherwise, it just counts down to just 13,000. So for 18K, we better take out, so we'll start working on Peter Parker. I think we better. All right, which way do we want to do the red? Probably take out a web tile with it. Definitely nice that Hulk stays out front for red matches now. Natasha's going to play her purple, unfortunately, and remove our countdown. So, we still have 14. We still have 14 green, so if Hulk gets downed, he'll transform to Banner, but then back to Hulk again quite quickly. Although, we could have Doom take some damage and just earn it back as we play. What should we do here? Natasha's definitely go... Oh, and they got the 12 green, so we're going to lose Banner from that anyway. So I don't want to have Banner take any damage, so let's have Doom be up front for this. Okay, there's the other guy countdown. That's why it's good not to spend your green right away as soon as you become the Hulk, in my opinion anyway. Oof. Well, if we could get them to match those traps, that would help out a lot. Eight yellow, let's get black and yellow. And there we go, back to the Hulk. Excellent, back to 19k health. I know he's not that great of a character, but if you have battles where it really makes sense to use him, it can be quite good. Uh, but he's at low levels for me, especially with his smash. It only deals 4,000 damage to the enemy team. But we're in good shape. We're going to play it. Team damage. Going to hit... Thor once, and major overkill, but at least we get him out with a second fall in favor, and he's the main issue we needed to worry about. Now I'd like to get some yellow matches. And it's really too bad you don't get the, the AP that Hulk matches for you even if you just got one or two AP randomly from from what he matched it would help out a ton I'm keeping Parker over there with with uh, that amount of health because if we do get another shot from fallen favor that'd be enough to take him out Can't let them get any more green. Hulk's going to ruin our chances at that yellow. See why people hate that? I get it. Play Bucky's blue again. 
We get our yellow here. Okay. Finally have our purple. Do we have anything we can do to make that happen? Not really. <clears throat> our countdown's gonna go off. We're we're going to what's her purple eleven. Unbelievable. <laughs> She's so lucky. Alright, let's just take out oh man. It looks like we could play our black, but we can't. I want to take Natasha out. We're gonna lose that countdown again. Maybe not. Maybe we have a chance with Brave New World and it'll give us enough crazy match damage with super luck. Extra move. I think we're going to make that happen. Check it out. Precision shot shoots out a, sp a tile on the board that you want to steal AP from the enemy. We could do this in a couple of ways. We could steal the purple that's dangerous for Natasha to have or we can just shoot out this yellow tile steal yellow and have a match for a purple as a result I think we'll go that way since it's enough to take her out with the other match damage all right that worked out really well and we still have our detonator let's see if Parker finds a way to ruin that. He didn't. We get one of our detonator attack tiles. Good job, Hulk. And detonator for the win. Hey, that was pretty cool. That's a really, really bad team to have out. Looks like we're taking hits. Couple hits from these guys. Oh, cool. He's got the costumes equipped on everybody. Let's take him on for the match. And there we go. We better win the next match as fast as possible. So let's put in our meta team. We can't have Winter Soldier and Banner Hulk be our team that's out on defense for very long. That is going to get you hit. I haven't played a team with the Daredevil costume on it yet. Really need to speed this up. So. Jessica's revealed some trap tiles. Maybe we can get lucky. Thor's in a good spot. Let's leave him there. I thought that red had a trap tile. Must be the oh the black below there. Okay. Got a trap. That'll earn more black for our team, since that's our team's strongest color. We don't have our green ready to play yet. But we have... Yeah, we have plenty to go. Let's do this. Well, unreal. Super lucky. Tons of black. I can't believe we could play that twice in a row. There's a reason that's about the meta team. And yeah, we took another hit. So let's be on a clean streak. We need about 170 points as fast as possible to get to 2,000. Maybe we can find <clears throat> 40 points for a pretty easy team to beat, potentially. So... We can mix things up just a little bit. Let's go with Hella this time. I like that because it keeps the enemy team away from green a little bit better. Since Peter Parker's got a nice 
ability for 10 green, and Thanos has one for 12. Red all over. We can't let them get ahead on AP, and they just got a nice jump with that match four. We have our own match four. case for some pretty strong strike tiles right before. Some potential matches with team up. Not too good that way. Oh boy. Hoping we get another turn here. They have six purple. It's really dangerous if Thanos can play his purple to lock up the board. And there it is. Oh man. Running good. <laughs> multi-hit combo from Hella there and that critical tile is going to be trouble what can I do now yeah, let's play this for fun mix up the board a bit not too bad did I leave him an extra move over there while well, I was worried about getting the critical at the bottom Team up. There we go. Now we're closing in on 1,900 points. We just need a little over 100 more to reach our goal at 2,000. I think we can get there in just about three more fights. 43 is a good amount. I'm taking on almost anybody. Let's go. <clears throat> with a kitty. And... Jessica Jones team, they are pretty scary. Can be. And who else creates special tiles? We'll use her yellow, her red. Purple creates red, but not necessarily special tiles. Um and his green. There we go. I know Kingpin doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but there's a way to make him work in this situation, I think. I do want to try to get green quickly, but there's so many other colors here that make sense. Purple, purple. Yeah, that only... That's only a passive. I didn't need to make a big deal about purple, did I? Nope. I was thinking purple's our team's strongest color, but it is, is uh, usually yellow when I play Kitty, but in this case it's red because of Jessica Jones. enough to take Chavez out cool good yellow's pretty spread out let's play phase and conquer for some protect tiles um, green drops purple but it really lets them get more red against us nine red all right
guess he's got enough health to deal with that. So when they play an ability, they get strike tiles from Old Man Logie, uh, and that's fine. And so every two turns, Kitty's going to remove them and deal damage when there's only one of them remaining. I just need a green match to get this started. Hmm. Well, blue's good. Big damage. House Thor, about 50% health, maybe just under. Could be just under. If he is, we're in a little bit of trouble. Black drops yellow with a trap tile. Cool. Big drop on blue. And yes, he's into his god mode, so we need to take Thor out ASAP. The reason I brought Kingpin in here is for his green, and if you play his green at the right time, when you have more of your strongest color than the enemy team does, then he creates a repeater tile that actually does good damage, but also it creates some very small attack tiles. Well, attack tiles are really good when you're playing uh, teams with very strong, when you're playing with a, a team that makes really strong strike tiles, because attack tiles carry strike tile damage with them. But, I know there's a green match. I think we're just going to have to take Thor out as quickly as possible. So let's play Defend the Straight. Damage plus Strikes. And Kingpin's blue for Forced Hand. If you have... Oh, man. I should have gotten my red. I should have played it before the red. Right. So, let's get our red higher than them. They have one red, we have seven. I'm going to play Kingpin's Forced Hand. Since we have more than they do, we'll do damage. Have to give away a special tile. Probably that purple is in trouble. Knockout Blow on Thor. And now they have... And we stole the remaining red, so we're almost ready to play our red again. Two move combo. Alright, I'll take that as a win. Kingpin didn't even get hurt at all. Jessica got blasted in that match. We do clear 1900, but we're still taking hits from the silly teams we had out earlier. It happens. Fair enough. That's going to be a tough team. We know that. Let's see here. 49 points. we got to take that on. That's a good deal. That's half of the way, the rest of the way we need to go. Let's get Thor and... Um, you back in the mix and let's go with Archangel I'll tell you why in a second okay so why oh look at that extra move Jeez. why Archangel well it's mostly because he has a blue and black set of abilities that are hard to get a lot of use out of when you play Thor and Okoye so much. His blue is damage plus a stun, and I better heal Okoye. I wasn't paying enough attention. There's hardly any team-up tiles on the board. It's going to be a very weak heal. So, let's do... We'll do a big purple. Let's do a blue match. 
There's a bunch more team up on the board. That'll make for a much stronger deal. Once. Oh man, glad we waited. That worked out really well. And another heal. Thor is injured. Let's just hit him with Archangel's Blue since we ran so lucky on it. He's stunned. Move over to Jessica. I don't want them to earn a lot more yellow or red or black. So let's play this on yellow from Archangel. Okay. We need a little bit of green. Thor will get that for us. So we'll do uh, black and purple. Got it. One more turn, we'll play Thor's green, white and yellow first. Whoops. All right, Thor's awake on their team. We better blast him. Shot on Jessica. It's overkill, but that's okay. I just want her out since they're close to playing her black ability. What do we want to do here? Archangel's countdowns go off in two turns. Akoye has healed from, what, 7,000-something up over 58,000. Crazy lucky extra move. Archangel might have been about the star there somehow. <laughs> 50 points. We took some hits. We're up to only up to 1922. This is why you don't play in the last hour and two minutes remaining. It says we have 1961, but if you refresh it, you look and it's 1922. Okay, guys, let's make a quick rush here. Need to find some points. 39's not bad. We can definitely play teams that beat the groupings with bishop in them, but they take longer. Fair enough. Oops. Well, I guess we'll skip that. Oh, come on. We need to find somebody at 40 or more. There's 47 with a bishop team. Hmm. Let's try it. To do that, we need somebody that can get stunned and then pretty much shrug it off. We'll see if we can get through a surfer here. Um, let's boost his blue. I'm going to boost everything. Kitty and Halo pose a challenge for sure. There's a blue match that they shouldn't really... Yeah, they'll go for it with Bishop, but let's take this match four in yellow. That's just a big shot of damage in one turn. Koya can heal later, no problem, even if she gets stunned here. I'm going to take the blue. Why would they take blue? Now, I want this blue match, but it would set up a green extra move. Unreal. Hmm. We'll do it this way. If he plays the stun... All right, this is good. If he tries to play the stun, uh, since Silver Surfer is unstunnable, that would work in our favor. But it already looks like we're going to start turning this around since we got Bishop out. But we need to get Okoye back pretty quickly. We have 11 green. Let's go for yellow green here. I'm going to take another damage shot from Helma. Ooh, man, how lucky was that? All these extra moves dropping from the sky. 
So let's do this for fun. Let's play Perfect Being on black. It's going to charge a bunch of black tiles. Heal Surfer back to right about where he was. Extra moves we've been getting here. Another black big match. Koi is back. That means we can play our big stuff. She's full health. Might as well do this. Silver singularity for a black hole. I don't think we're going to take that long. Thought we might need to get use out of it. Nope, we ran too lucky. It's over. Cool. Fun to take out a bishop team without running into any significant issues. And we're up to 1945. If we start taking less hits, we'd be good. Got a wipeout, though. 44. Come on, let's try to do this. 1945, guys, we're almost there. We need probably two fights that don't end in disaster. <laughs> I think we just fought that guy. I hate to hit another, hit him twice in a row. That's a friend worth plenty of points. 36, I know it's low, but this looks like an easy team to beat. We're going to go a little bit cheap here. I don't like to do it a lot, but I want to try to make sure to the best of our abilities we don't get hit here toward the end. Or not as much. Hmm. We're going to lose a red strike tile no matter what we do. So let's do green that drops a red down. Daredevil get a bunch of purple that would be super dangerous since he could stun and steal our strong strikes. We already get Thanos knocked out. Oh no. Now we ran too good on Panther. <laughs> oh man. Losing, losing strikes left and right. So. Wow, that, I just can't believe that. We ran so good. We got a bunch of green. Let's do God of Thunder. Team damage. Panther's out before he can come back. Protect tiles, which adds special tiles to the board and makes Thor's red hit a lot stronger. And that's a win. Wow. That's why people play Rocket and Kitty together. 1945. Final hour of the simulator. Still taking hits. Can we do it? This is a big challenge. We're seeing the same names now. That's a problem. I don't want to hit that guy again. Thirty-two points. Not a lot, but I think we'll play the same team. Since we ran so good last time. Sorry for my voice, guys. Try to make matches in this with this team setup that actually more than anything safeguards our strike tiles you're gonna lose them as you play anyway oh extra move maybe we'll get enough collateral damage to really injure thor here well we have to go for thor next 
anyway. No, let's do it like this. Let's do all but take Doom out because if we take him out, he removes our special tiles. Yep, I think this is the right way to play it. Go for blue. Because yellow will heal Doom. There we go. Oh, I did it wrong, but maybe we'll still get it to work. Yep, I should have done the red on Thor first before the green on both. Oh, we took a couple more hits. Oh man, this is rough. Now we're going to have to really get moving. It said we would have had 1977, and we're down to 1905. Yikes. Okay, well, that's going to be the run here. That's a friend shooting for the end as well. <laughs> Good luck. Well, if we keep taking too many hits, I might have to win a fight, throw on a shield, and then wait a couple minutes and then go again. But I really just kind of want to make a clean streak. Keep seeing this guy. I'm going to have to get, take, him, take him on. Let's go for it. Let's put our meta back in here. In this case... Hmm... We might get someone stunned, and if we do, I think Jessica's probably the one we could get stunned. Uh, blue and green combo. Well, of course they find a way to get a ton more blue. Seventy six hundred health on Bishop. Bishop's being a little bit of a pain. I don't think it's going to be a long term problem. But right now we're gonna get Okoye stunned and then we'll have Thor up front. See yeah, that's the that's the that's the issue. Got him out, and now Thor's gonna be up front for a number of turns that I would have really have wanted to keep him safer than that. That's the problem. Okay. And I keep getting a lot of green. So, Hella's going to remind us that she doesn't like that. If I could just get 12 green, I'll spend it. Happily enough. Oh man, another drop extra move out of the sky. Spend our green. It's uh, not boosted by Akoye, but I just want to get it out. Mm hmm. What do we do? Probably. If I get the match four in yellow, it sets them up with an extra move in blue. What are the chances that would come like that? So, ouch, that's what I wanted to avoid, taking a lot of damage with Thor. Jessica's back from the stun, that's fine, we're going to hit Hella with the red, and we'll have enough in black to take Kitty out, okay. Need to speed this up like we we're. Oh man, I keep leaving extra moves all over the place. <laughs> so it happens when you get in a hurry. I know this is a longer video than usual. Sorry about that, guys. Don't wait till the last minute in life. Okay, so Thor took damage. Nobody else was really significant there. We hit 1950 again. Sorry for that poor guy. That's probably trying to do the same thing we are, making a clean streak. This guy, did he hit me twice? That's not nice. Sometimes you just can't help it, but... 
Oops. That's the guy we just hit. And at 37 points means he's slightly below my score now. Because 38 is an even score. 37 points. Let's take this guy on. I hope it's not the same guy we fought before. Yep, he's got a lower roster. I shouldn't have even been matched against this guy. Now I feel bad. He's got a nice developing roster. But we're going to be able to take this one pretty quickly. Hopefully before we take any other hits. Come on, guys. We're really streaking this out. Less than an hour to make it to the end of the season. Why did I wait so long? We got a lot, a whole lot of fun character requests played through this season. We'll do the same thing again next time. Wow, look at this cascade action. Can we get in one more fight before we get hit too much? The problem with these is I don't know how much how many points they're going to be worth. If you've kept a queue up a long time and we'll try to take on this team it's Jessica's great but we're gonna to try to sub out for see how well we can do here Sabretooth all the rage and um, that's the character we're gonna win a cover from if we're lucky enough let's go he plays pretty well against Kitty and Rocket and Groot Every time we match an enemy strike tile, he will blow a hole in the board. Dealing a little bit of damage. I should have boosted a little bit of team up. I forgot about that. Another strike tile. Hope they match the one on the bottom right so I don't have to do it with red for Thor. Uh oh. That did work pretty well to get a lot of their strike tiles removed quickly. But look at that critical. Hmm. Just going to kind of destroy it. Don't want them to use a critical match against me in something like purple that would hit pretty hard. All right. Things are looking good, although we have zero team up. That's the only drawback we're looking at at the moment. And so close to our yellow, sir. Yes, yeah, so let's get next to nothing here. Yeah, practice offense is not good. If we do damage, she's going to create attack tiles. And how did we not get any yellow that way? All right, this is good. This is better now. Heal up plus some nice matches in team up. Can we do this again? Let's do this. Oh boy. There they finally matched away the strike tiles. Been waiting for that. So here we go. I think we're going to win. We only have nine team up, but this could be it. We're going to play Thor's green like usual. Every time they take damage with her countdown tile out, she's going to create attack tiles for everybody. Let's play happy birthday run. Enough damage to take Kitty out. Enemy strike tiles. And we'll play tooth and nail for multi-hit damage. And that's a win. Cool. With Sabretooth on the team. And it did it. That was the winning combo. 49 points to make it and 
score over 2,000 in Shield Simulator for the season, and we got our goal of 2,000 points for the Sabretooth Green Cover. Fantastic. Got it done barely in time. Thank you guys for your help and luck along the way. Let's train up Sabretooth's Green Ability. You Should Run now does more damage when we match an enemy strike tile. And it uh, is going to be excellent. So we can level this guy up a few more spots. And he's at 4, 5, 3. We only need one more green or one more red. And we'll be able to champion this guy already as a new character. That is great. Let's end it there. Thanks so much for playing along. That was a long one. It was fun and hopefully a little bit of action-packed for you. If you need more MPQ on YouTube, hit up MPQ Mastery. Please like and follow our uh, previous videos and watch our old stuff. If you've missed anything, we have a lot of characters taken into action at your request. If you want to see anybody special, let me know who you'd like to see when the next season opens up in just a few days. We will get your requests in action. Thanks again for everything and the viewer luck. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.